Seth, I'm throwing a Super Bowl party on Saturday, and I just don't know how to do it. Could you give me some tips? Well, no. But I can give you 10 tips to have a successful Super Bowl party. That's what I just asked you. Oh, will you shut up? Alrighty, folks. Now, here's 10 tips to make sure you have a successful Super Bowl party. Oh, oh God. It's a shame this has to be said, but don't bring a bowl to a Super Bowl party. It's such a lame joke. It's cliche. I make the joke all the time, so you know it's bad. Hey! <laughs> Brought the bowls! Get it, Super Bowl party? Ooh, Seth, that's not bowls. funny. Bowls. Super Bowls. Yeah, I, I get it. Here's the second tip. If you really want your party to be a success, don't use any bowls at all. Hey, hey, hey. These are stale. Seth, you literally brought two bowls with you. Why are you just holding the chips in your hands? Tip number three. If you want a party atmosphere, make sure to start playful banter with the other guests before the game begins. <laughs> yeah, closest I ever got to football, when that football player from high school shoved me in his locker. Hey! <laughs> Seth Cohen? Hey, what's up? Shoved you in the locker in high school? <laughs> oh, I'll do it again after the game. Hey! <laughs> Tip number four. Show your football knowledge by keeping up a conversation about football through the commercial breaks. Ah, the first commercial break, my favorite part! Well, that's great. That four-point conversion back there was a total failure. Reminded me a lot of the 68 Super Bowl when the two-point conversion happened. Right, it was 68, it was uh, 62, it was 63, or 64, or... Seth, Seth I want to watch the commercials. Well, the six-point conversion was a little bit more... Oh, wait, what'd you say? I'm not a Super Bowl expert like you are. I only watch for the commercials. The Super Bowl is known for having really great commercials. Well, the, the eight-point conversion um, on the second quarter of the on the uh, basketball court. Whoa! Here's Seth's secret bonus tip of the day. If you blank out about football knowledge, no problem. Just start using common knowledge, like 90 Superboy trivia. Always carry around a comic book. So I actually did bring Superboy with me. Uh, it takes place in Hawaii. It's the clone of Superman so uh, and uh, Lex Luthor. We find out in another volume later on. Not in the Oh great! Version. The game is back on. All right, let's hope for another four-point conversion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Didn't see you there. Tip number five: The game gets boring, or you run out of '90s Superboy trivia. Try to rally around the other guests and try to get them to change the game to something more exciting, like golf. What are you doing? I don't mean to be the one out. Okay. But can we just put something on that we all agree on? Golf? Just... How we feeling, ladies? Ooh, tip number six. If you still feel out of place, try cheering for a player you know. Yeah, Carson Wentz! Come on, Gronk, get in there! Yeah, OJ Simpson! What? Um, Seth? OJ went to jail? When? A long time ago. It, what? For what? No! OJ? Tip number seven. If you still feel out of place, try taking the opposite point of a conversation. And that's why I love football. You know, thousands of kids are actually hospitalized each year. Um, because of the way the uniforms are constructed and because of the violence of the sport, uh, concussions, uh, they're usually dehydrated too. Sometimes they're paralyzed. I actually know a neighbor of mine, uh, was paralyzed after, uh, getting into a little fight with a squirrel. Tip number eight, if the Pepsi halftime show comes up during conversation, remember to say, the Coca-Cola halftime show last year was better. So yeah, I'm just really excited for, uh, Justin Timberlake at the halftime Pepsi show. Yeah, the Coca-Cola halftime show was better, uh, last year. Oh really, who played? Well, there was the Michael Jackson tribute uh, with the uh, thousand trumpets, and there was the the huge game of dodgeball. You know, everyone participated. I get a I get a little trophy, a little picnic in the park. You know how it is. And then Coca Cola, <laughs> they were not angry, uh, and they sued us uh, all, every single one. They were angry, and that was the uh, Coca Cola. Seth, uh, that was your twentieth birthday party. I'm gonna cut you like a fish if you don't shut it. Tip number nine. Spatulas.
Tip number 10, make sure to throw a tantrum no matter who wins, both at the party and on social media. They won! Wait, who won? The Eagles. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought, and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Don't forget to follow us on all the social medias, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the links to everything are down below. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of our videos, you can click that little notification bell button down below to be notified every single time we post. We upload every single Friday, so we will see you guys again next Friday with a brand new video. Bye, guys.